you're looking at how spiritual people are and if they have done healing, if they have done cleanse, then there's another person here that's either an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Capricorn. There's communication coming from a Scorpio. Okay? They could be a Pisces, a Taurus, or a Virgo, or a Gemini like yourself. But I'm mainly getting Scorpio energy. There's communication coming in. There's fast communication here. I feel like because of the eclipse energy, you just don't know if there's a married man or a married woman here. They could even have tattoos or they could be some type of bodybuilder or, or some type of a power lifter or something. Hello, Gemini. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Star Seaside here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We're going to read for you guys, okay, this is your general love read, it is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Crosswatchers, you are welcome, this message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below, I want to thank everyone for all the support, and with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read for my Geminis. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. Gemini, I don't know why, but I'm getting something about... Okay, we had a brief interruption. My apologies, y'all, but... As I was saying, I was getting something about Scorpio. So... Oh. I'm gonna count it. It fell out of my hand. You have number six upside down. So this is number nine. This is also uh, number six upside down, right? The lovers in reverse Gemini, Mercury retrograde. But then you have number nine there which is the Hermit, which is Virgo, Mercury in Transit. Okay. So we have Neptune upside down, the Hangman in reverse, and the High Priestess in reverse, Pisces, Neptune, retrograde. Then we have Taurus upside down, the Hierophant in reverse, Venus retrograde, Gemini, there are a lot of people looking at you. You have a lot of people looking at you, fantasizing. You look like a whole snack. This time around, you always do, but this time around especially, I don't know, people are finding you, people are finding you very endearing. Okay, Gemini, I do see that here, but I do see a lot of people lusting after you, okay? Um, fantasizing about you, it's really important to protect your... Uh, your energy, your aurora at this time, you might want to wear like a black obsidian necklace or a clear quartz necklace or a rose quartz necklace, okay, to protect your sensual energy, your intimate energy, because a lot of people here, they are fantasizing over you and they're trying to send that uh, energy your way. Yeah, Eight of Wands, Spirit saying yes, this is a yes card from Spirit, okay, and this is also symbolizing to me that people really want to take things fast with you, okay, a lot of people are looking at you, but I don't see here that they're wanting love, Per se, they're more looking for a. It's like I don't know what it is. I can't be the only individual that's been picking up on this energy of like. A lot of people are just not looking for love, like for a serious commitment. They're looking to have more uh, fun or more freedom or more liberation. We have the King of Cups here. There's communication coming from a Scorpio. Okay? They could be a Pisces, a Taurus, or a Virgo, or a Gemini like yourself. But I'm mainly getting Scorpio energy. There's communication coming in. There's fast communication here. From somebody that holds back a lot. Four of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. Like I said, for a lot of you, this is a Scorpio. Uh... Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, King of Swords. Oh, so you have another air sign. Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, King of Swords. You have somebody here, if they're not in law enforcement, they're some type of performer with the King of Swords and the Six of Wands, some type of competitor. I even heard music industry. This could be a, another Gemini, or this could be a, an Aquarius. 
or even a doctor. This individual could be a doctor for some of you. I, I see Earth there. I don't know why, but the pentagram upside down, a lot of, you know, the devil worshippers, they use that, right? The darker aspect, but the, penta the pentagram upside down. Um, I don't know if you see that, right? The pentagram upside down, that is normally associated with the Baphomet, Satan, the devil. So it's really giving Capricorn. There's somebody here that's either a Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Gemini or Virgo like yourself. And then there's another person here that's either an Aquarius, Gemini or a Capricorn. So there's two energies here. You could be dealing with both of them right now, or you could be dealing with one of them, or you're about to be dealing with the both of them. So take what fits and leave what doesn't. Or, or they could be a Virgo. But the Hermit in reverse, that's somebody that's not, that's somebody that's not uh, maturing. Hmm. Seven of Wands. Five of Cups. Six of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, you're going to have another Earth sign. You have three people. There's a married man or a married woman here. They could even have tattoos or they could be some type of bodybuilder or, or some type of a power lifter or something. Because notice this man sitting there, right? It doesn't have to be a man. It could be a woman. But notice how thick he is, like, like he's built. You know, I'm not even going to lie. This dude is built. Like, look at his arms. Look at his chest. Like, even his quads look huge. His hamstrings. I, I, like, look at that. Like, look at his forearm there. Like, the dude is jacked. There's some type of fitness person, fitness influencer here that's an earth sign or they're married. They want to run away. <sighs> oh, my God, this planet. I know I'm not the only one that didn't sign up for these Earth assignments. Please tell me I wasn't the only one, because what on Earth is going on on this planet? There's somebody here that's married, but they want to leave their marriage, and they want to go over to you, but the Seven of Wands there, they've been holding themselves back. You know, like, it's not the right thing. You're the forbidden fruit, Gemini. That's the thing. You're the forbidden fruit. I feel like these energies all feel that you're the forbidden fruit, you're exotic, it's something different about you you're not like the rest but they feel like being with you it would grab a lot of people's attention with the six of wands there you have three main energies here but it almost seems to me like it's going to be a process with these three justice is there and nine of pentacles it really feels to me like y'all going to focus on the bag y'all going to focus on your coins your money financial wealth, material success, and you're just going to go with the flow. That's honestly, that's what it's really giving me. Like you're going to be dealing with these three, but mm, I don't know. Ooh, four of swords, eight of wands. There could be a hookup here with somebody or like a really fast encounter, like maybe not of that type of nature, but there could be like you meet somebody, you know, at a club or at a bar or at some type of it doesn't even need to be like a dance club. It could be like a like a book club or, you know, a meetup for a specific thing. You know, it could be an art meetup, a yarn meetup, a yoga meetup, um, you know, a photography tour, a yacht tour, okay? Something like that. And you meet this individual and you guys hit it off really quickly. Oh, yeah, no, the high priestess and justice. Yeah, no, that... that it is giving like there's a potential here to hook up with somebody to have things go really fast with somebody if you're not careful if you're not washing your drinking okay because this is at a night out you need to wash your drinking love okay when you're out at night or something at this uh, club or this party this get together because you know how it goes one thing leads to another five of swords Eight of Cups on the side. Nine of Cups in reverse. Gemini, what did you do at the Page of Swords? Gemini, I don't know what y'all did, but y'all have people pressed. 
Y'all have people pressed and stressed? Y'all have them pressed and stressed? Okay? And obsessed. That's, that's, that's what's going on here. These three can't figure you out, plus the other 10 energies that I feel. There, there, there's at least 14 people, at the least. Like, there's a line of people at the door, you know, trying to get, like, they're one-on-one -on -one with you, trying to make their big break. I don't know, Gemini, you're just not feeling it. Like, tell me about the married person, because the married person is really trying to I'm saying here the married person, this married individual, okay, this individual that's in a marriage. This individual is really trying to restrain themselves, but they're finding it really, really difficult. Three of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Swords, yeah. Like they're in a marriage, they're in a commitment, but it's like they keep wanting to, they're gonna like keep wanting to come around y'all's energy, trying to get y'all's attention and whatnot. Oh, yes. This message applies to me, this right here, because I've this has been a situation. Some, somebody that's married been trying to approach me and whatnot. I'm like, oh hell to the no. You better go over there. Four of wands on the side. Hmm. I feel like because of the eclipse energy, you just don't know if you want to put yourself out there or like the four of wands on the side, like there are certain days where you could feel like you want a happily ever after and you want a relationship where it's, you know, balanced and beautiful and it, it represents divine love, right? It stands for everything that you hope to find in a partner. And it's like you have a lot of people here. It's this energy of, you know, I can build something with somebody. There's people here. There's options. But... Then there's also the side where it's like you may like your independence too much or right now the energy just doesn't feel right to enter into a committed partnership. So I feel like love is, I feel like love is a little bit, I don't want to say bad. Your, your read compared to the other signs is actually uh, pretty good because you do have a lot of energies around you that uh, are wanting something here, whether it's intimacy, whether it's a connection, they are wanting stuff to happen with you, you know, but it's like, do you want this with any of them? Because the four of wands is going to be crossing. Yeah, two of pentacles, it's like you're trying to decide. Honestly, this is reminding me of 365 Days on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, it's, it's so hilariously bad. But it's good because it's hilariously bad. But like this is reminding me of Nacho, Massimo, and Laura. And how, like, spoiler alert, right? But Laura started to catch feelings towards Nacho, even though she had gotten married with Massimo. You know? And then it was like, the end, the end was such a good cliffhanger, y'all. Anyhow, what do you see happening then? What do you see as the outcome for this? Because I feel like it's it's undecided. The magician. Yeah, look, look. This is this is you, Gemini. This is you guys. But look what's happening here. Four of Cups. A lot of people making the offer, but look how, you know, they are holding their head. Like, ugh, like, I don't really want to deal with this right now. Or I, you know, my energy is, you know, the magician, right? Your energy is being focused elsewhere with the Ace of Swords. You're also looking at, like, how spiritual people are. Yeah, Queen of Swords and the Fool. Yeah, you... You're looking at how spiritual people are and if they have done healing, if they have done cleanse, you know, what are they doing with their spiritual journey? You know, what do they think about their zodiac sign? Do they know their, their moon side, their rising side, their Vedas? Because if they don't, it's a, it's a no from you. Like some of you are really, you're, you're putting the boundaries. You're the celebrity, y'all. That, that's... Mm, I'm all over the place in this raid. Soulmate. 
third party. And mass, y'all gotta be careful. Because some of these energies, you see, it is good that you have these boundaries up because some of these energies that are trying to approach you are actually third party karmics, you know, karmic soulmate, right? Some of these energies that are trying to approach you are karmic soulmates that, you know, on the outside they appear good, but the mask and toxic relationship, it's actually not ideal. Grass is greener and single. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. You're very intuitive at this time. Don't ignore your intuition. You know, sometimes being single really is the grass is greener. The grass is greener on the other side where you're single. This might be one of the, you know, the time periods where, yes, you have a lot of offers, but it might be best to just stay put between the lines. Yeah. Hidden meaning vague, speculate implicit. Yeah, it's really important. Really, really important. Before you enter into a connection with somebody that you really get to know them. Or, you know, if you're going to engage with them in whatever way, whether that be physically, intimately, emotionally. Okay. Really feel this in the visuals energy because there's a lot of people here that, you know, they want to get with you. But it's because they're addicted to y'all's energy. Yeah, new love, but then storm warning, the tower. And you see intuition is going to be right there. Like you need to really listen to your intuition over your feelings. Now you may ask, why do I feel so strong towards a lot of these energies? Well, I, I'm getting a lot of past life stuff. You know, not every lifetime do we end up with our twin flame. Or, you know, our DM, our DF, whoever we're contracted to be with. In one lifetime, we can have multiple lovers, multiple, you know. And, and back then, humans lived a lot longer. Right? Way past 100. They're, they're, back in the ancient times, there were humans that lived way past 100 years. You know, if you read the Bible, you read some of these other ancient texts, it was normal for somebody to live past 100 into 500 years young, almost to 1,000 years. I mean, you imagine, you you know, things happen, tragedy strikes, people pass away. So in any lifetime, you could have had multiple lovers, you know, for whatever reason. So you may feel really strong connection to these men or to these women that are coming into your uh, into your lives respect uh, respectively but don't let you know the energy deceive you definitely pay attention to your intuition part of the reason you're feeling so strongly to a lot of these energies gemini is because most likely you did have a past life with this person you and this individual were lovers or you did have uh you know an intimate thing going on or you were friend with benefits whether that was a hundred years ago or a thousand years ago or on another planet okay in another dimension so your soul recognizes their soul and vice versa and that's why it feels so strong but your intuition is on point and you can't ignore it because if you decide to engage with certain energies it's possible you end up in uh i don't want to say toxic but you know a very heavy burden sun connection you have three main energies there and they want something serious with you they want something serious with you but i feel like because of the eclipse energy you kind of just want to hang out and chill and just go with the flow um like overall that's what i'm getting with y'all's energy like you just want to go with the flow chill you're you're not trying to force anything here you know that's what i'm really getting so the outcome is i do see you Remaining, uh, you could say single or, you know, whatever is going on here. Because like I said, some of you are dealing with these three right now. But right now you're just going to be focusing on yourself. Just taking it one day at a time. When it comes to love, just taking your time, right? Some of you are aware that you have like 10 plus people, 14 plus people at your door, right? Wanting to get with you, wanting to rush things with you, right? So weighing out those options and following that intuition, I feel like this is where I ended at. A lot of you are just going to choose to remain single until October 28th, until the lunar eclipse passes. Because eclipses can be heavy. 
They can be heavy. They they bring some weird energy. Mm. So this is where I'm going to leave it. That is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care.